And welcome back guys to another test. Yes, it's been a while, so I'm back at it. Um, today we'll be testing Surfshark Antivirus, so that's the first. And we're going to test McAfee Total Protection. And we've got a third mystery guest contender, which I'll show um, you guys um, last. Now with Surfshark, we are just going to test antivirus. So we're not going to look at the VPN and anything else. Um, on the antivirus, not really much that you can do. You can either enable or disable the protection, do scheduled scans. Webcam protection is still in beta, so we'll see if there's any malware that wants to exploit that, although we don't have a webcam. You can check for updates, do an exclusion, delete the quarantine files, run full or quick scans, and that's about it. On the McAfee side, also not really much to change. Um, on the real-time scanning, you can either turn it on or turn it off. Um, you'll see scheduled scans, so it disables that, firewall. So traffic controller is set to smart. Um, the net guard is enabled. Um, and the smart advice is set to enable smart advice. Uh, secure apps, app boost, secure VPN, uh, browser security is set up for edge, uh, track remover, and etc. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, like I've mentioned, there's not really much that you can actually change in McAfee, it's either it's also it's on or it's off. Um, access protection is also enabled. Okay, and that's that. And then our mystery guest is none other than Norton. Okay, so we have Norton 364 Gamers. This was my old bull card, which was um, obviously automatically updated. Now I'm on the Norton side. We're going to look at advanced settings. You'll notice that everything here is enabled. Um, we're going to hop over to settings. Okay, under antivirus. Um, pretty much everything's enabled. We left um, behavior and protection mode to automatic. But I'm going to put this to aggressive. Let's see what happens. I'm going to hit apply. Um, so it's the scan of uh, the um, compressed files. Automatic heuristics. Uh, let's make that to aggressive as well. Just notifies that we might have more false positives. And that's about that. Uh, data protector, script control, set to block, uh, updates. Gonna apply that. I'm gonna close this one. Oops, wrong close. Okay. Uh, administrative settings. Um, this is only where you make some changes to if you want password protection and things like that. Okay, under firewall. Pretty much everything's enabled and set to default. Don't really change anything here. Um, intrusion and browser protection is enabled. Advanced program. Okay, we're gonna go to um, exploit prevention. Everything is enabled. And then we've got safe cam, but obviously not gonna really test that. And um, tamper protection is enabled, and that's about it. Okay. Let's get these three products um, disabled so that we can extract them out and start this test. Okay, so I think we are ready for action. Um, let's hop over back to Surfshark. So you guys will notice on all machines we've got 4,337 samples, which is quite a bit of high sample count. I don't actually realize it's going to be that many samples, but heck, why not? Let's do this. Um, and then on Norton. Um, 4,337 so now you guys will see obviously that the machines are clean no weird processes or things like that uh, you see also the virus status scores with the Surfshark okay so they're all clean they're good to go and then um, some of you guys might have noticed that I have iTop uh, VPN on the machine. Um, the reason for that is my router based VPN is giving me a bit of an issue. So just to help protect myself and keep my original IP um, not visible for any malware that might do an IP lookup of my public IP so that I'm just um, a little bit hidden. Um, it's obviously not foolproof but um, it's better than nothing uh, until I can get the um, router VPN fixed. Now, um, I think 
we can quickly check for updates. This just says it does check updates for every three hours, but we're just going to do updates nonetheless. And check for updates for McAfee. Can hop over to Norton. Okay, so I think Surfshark should be up to date. It normally gives like a little pop up to say that it's up to date. Okay, cool. as you guys can see, virus databases are up to date. And I think the VPN for McAfee is giving some issues. I'll look at it now. Norton is updated. Okay, apologies for the, the, the delay, guys. Uh, McAfee was really not liking iTop VPN um, now. So, what I had to do is um, removed it. I installed Proton VPN, which I have um, two um, have free accounts which I use for testing. So, I just quickly um, got Proton VPN running. So, it, we are connected to one of the VPNs. So, when we check for updates, it is successful. Um, let's maybe just check for updates again on Norton I just had to quickly figure out what the issue was but I had to remove iTop VPN as McAfee wasn't liking it um, on Surfshark let's check again Okay, so let's just quickly wait for McAfee to update and then we'll start the test. Okay, so McAfee is almost done. So while we wait for McAfee, I think I am going to enable the real-time shield for Surfshark. Device is now protected. Cool. Okay, as you guys can see, McAfee is up to date as well. Okay, turn on real-time protection. Give them a couple of seconds for the drivers to start and to run. I enable auto-protect. Okay, so Norton is green. Um, let's have a look at McAfee. Okay, uh, I'll do that later. Yeah, everything looks good. And as you guys can see, Surfshark is also protected. Okay, so I think now we can start the test. We can have a look at the resource usages. Now, obviously, the first test is website test. I've got no idea how Surfshark. Um, checks for web links. I'm not sure if it's maybe done via the VPN. If the VPN is connected, it does. Um, there was no browser plugin. So I've got absolutely no idea what Surfshark is going to do with the, VP, uh, with the website test. I'm uh, going to hop over to Norton. Yeah, got a huge amount of disk for the SSD and okay, we're going to jump over to Surfshark ok cool, so here there's a real time protection has trapped the dangerous file and quarantine it so that's good to see ok so it is those two files ok now I've got no idea um, with all the other website links and ah, Defender, Defender, Defender. It is annoying when this stuff keeps enabling. Um, sorry guys, I keep on disabling all the stuff and it just keeps on enabling itself. It's really annoying. Let's do this again. Okay, while we wait on McAfee, seems like we've got this one that's a miss. Uh, okay, that page might have been removed. And also Defender is enabled here, which is really annoying. Okay, so it looks like McAfee missed two, two sites. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Yeah, we're going to hop over to Norton. Okay, so Norton says this website is dangerous, but you guys saw for a brief moment it was actually showing the website. Um, so this one is a miss. Seems like they're all missing this one. OK, 
Okay, blocked as well. Okay, blocked. Uh, Mac of, uh, Norton actually blocked those pages for the weeks. Locked, locked. Okay, so according to Norton, we've got one, uh, two misses. This one doesn't do anything. So we're going to say that this one is 404, so not failed. So one. Okay, cool. So it seems like three, three of them were missed for Norton. On McAfee, we only have the one. Um, I'm not really sure if I should count this because Norton is blocking it, but it says page is not found. So I'm not going to count this one. So it's only the one and the two. Okay, so McAfee, I think that a little bit better than Norton with one more. And I'm not sure if Surfshark actually blocked anything. Uh, nope, doesn't seem like it. Nope. Okay, so it doesn't seem like Surfshark is actually giving website protection. Like I said, it most probably will only work when once the VPN is connected maybe. Because it is an all-in-one program, so you'll use the AV and the VPN together. But judging by this, yeah, it definitely lost the website there. So the one goes to McAfee. Uh, oh, there was actually more pages opening up. Okay, so they're scanning the file. Okay, CPU usage for McAfee is a little bit higher than the other ones. And it's a good self shock. Okay. Okay, so via the stop, files not downloaded. And that's that. Okay, cool. So let's start with the main test. Okay, so shock is already giving us a pop up. That's really good to see. Because I've got absolutely no idea how Surfshark is going to do, if it is actually any good. That's why we are testing it to see if it is any good. <laughs> okay. You guys know how more or less Norton and McAfee performs. So this is going to be a really good test to see how Surfshark, um, which is actually not the department for AVs, they more obviously for VPN, but let's see if the antivirus is any good. Okay, Norton Protection has trapped a dangerous file in quarantine. Doesn't seem like we've got anything running yet for... Uh, I've got no idea none of these passwords work. Okay, so then we've got a script that's killed. Let's hop over to Norton. Norton is waiting for me. Yeah, doesn't seem like we've got any threats running yet on McAfee. So we don't know if there's any process spoofing or um, session hijacking or anything like that running. Okay. But yeah, uh, we've already started the test and Surfshark seems to be clean, so that's that's really good. Okay, we've got a file as malware. Close that bad boy. Okay, and what I've also seen over my time of running tests and testing malware, it's normally the malware in the zip files that are the real nasty ones that I've that I've kind of figured out. Most probably not always, but um, normally when the AVs tend to fail, I did um, uh, see afterwards that it's actually the malware that came from the zips. So it seems like the zips tend to be 
or tend to have the most nasty malware in them. And yeah, let's continue. We'll quit that one. So enable content for macros. Surfshark, what you're doing, what you're doing. Okay. Enable content. Itself, Surfshark handles macros. There's a UAC pop up. This definitely looks legit. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, there's a fake invoice, a <laughs> picture invoice, most probably steganography. Okay, so it seems like Surfshark is opening up the most stuff. Um, We'll just close that one. Let's hope there's not a password. Nope, no password on that one. Okay, malware was removed from that zip. Unzippy zip. Okay, I'll click on next, install. If the USCs are, are going to become a problem for me, I'll just disable it. But I tend to leave it on as malware tends to fiddle with UAC, so that's a good. Thing to see if UAC was disabled, so that's why I tend to leave it on. But if it becomes a pain, I'll disable it. Okay, we'll quit that one. Yeah, so Norton it's doing its thing, McAfee it's doing its thing. Okay, what is Surfshark doing? GPT-4, so that's most probably chat GPT. Okay, let's see if there's anything running or any process hijacking or doesn't seem like it according to Process Explorer. Okay, it seems like I'm gonna have my hand full with these tests and as you guys saw we've got quite a high sample count so I'm most probably going to be here for a couple hours okay Okay guys, so yeah, I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. I'm just going to tend to this. As you guys can see, I've got my hands quite full. A lot of stuff is opening. I need to execute, double click on it, blah, blah, blah. Um, McAfee is doing its own thing. Norton is doing its own thing. Um, but yeah, it seems like it's going to be a fun test. Interesting test. High sample counts, a good chance for infection. Um, or any type of exploit and yeah once the test is done or as you guys know anything funky or weird happens I'll point it out but for now I've got my coffee and I've got time so I'm gonna sit patiently and execute the malware and then show you guys the result once the test is done Okay, okay guys, so I'm just reporting that Surfshark is rebooting on its own. Um, hopefully it does start up again once it's up again. And oops, now we've got a system license violation. Um, okay, and now we've got a blue screen. jump back to Surfshark now hopefully it starts up 
They, whoop, diagnosing our PC. Ah, uh, man. Seems like this is the end of the road for Subshark. Okay, McAfee wants to reboot as well. Okay, so Subshark's diagnosing. That's already not a good sign, so that's already tampering with uh, boot partitions. Okay, we've got this one thread that's running. Okay, it's closed. Okay, so Surfshark is still diagnosing, not sure how long it's going to be. I'll see if I can get it running again, but I'm not going to put too much effort in it. So hopefully it does start up. I really would like to test it um, further, but yeah, I'll just I'll, I'll let you guys know. Okay guys, so the test is finally done, and as you guys can see, we already have a clear winner between the three products. Surfshark unfortunately um, is still broken. I did try to repair it just briefly, tried a couple of commands, still no success. McAfee was literally almost done with the test um, and then it also, I got a little pop up again to say that I'm a maggot, blah blah blah, the one that we've seen before and then it was rebooting. I did try to stop the restart but um, I just couldn't um, do any inputs on the keyboard. So McAfee rebooted and now it, it is broken as well. So it seems like Norton is the only one that survived the test. Now if we're just going to quickly look through to see what happened. So obviously we've got this AI Google, chat GPT. Um, and then we've got this switch um, sound file converter. And then a beta version of WinRAR that installed. So we've got a couple of programs here but not not not. Um, a whole lot of them. Um, we've got this remote support. Um, okay, that's done open. And let's see if we can close it. Okay, cool. That's done. So let's quickly see what's still running. We've got this program here, like a little kitten with a um, bandage on. Then we've got this one here. Oops, I think I clicked on the clean one. And that seems to be that. So it seems like we only have active threads running one, two, and three programs. Let's have a look. See. Uh, I'm not sure why these programs are not opening. Ah, uh, sorry, these websites are not opening. Could be most probably maybe due to the VPN. I am not sure. Let me just quickly check. Okay, yeah, so the VPN was just a tad slow, so the one of the four rating, it's, um, we've got no official rating, but it seems like it might be just a normal Trojan. Um, on this one, you have got a couple more uh, ratings on this one, so it's um, adware, um, so more, not so much a, a Trojan itself. Kaspersky also not the virus. Um, Trend Micro. Okay, so it doesn't seem like it's actually any active threat. Um, then we've got uh, Grey Wheel or Square Malicious. So yeah, so not two bad threats that are act currently actively running. Um, and then we've got this little notification here at the top left corner. Shows our network activity, I think. And then still high CPU usage. Um, I think we can actually close all of this. Okay, so let's quickly see if we've got any startup items. Um, yeah, we've got this one here. Um, that's Java. Then we've got this one here. Another Java. Um, I think this, the autopilot, I think, just got removed. Because um, I swear I just saw it now. <laughs> Um, okay, so but we've got one, two, and then Java, and then obviously these are being used for the fileless malware. Then we've got this one here. That's a VB, yeah, so that is hand in hand with this one, and then we've got JavaScript for Java to be used. So we've got three startup items. 
Let's quickly see if we've got any infection on ransomware. I don't think we do. Okay, downloaded files. Um, picture seems good. Got a couple of extra shortcuts. Um, documents, sorry. And then our pictures are good as well. Just a little bit slow, it seems. Okay, picture seems good. And yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm going to restart Norton through the UI. Once it's done, I'll update it and then start the full scan. Okay guys, so I don't think I'll be able to do <laughs> any malware scans. Um, Norton has unfortunately succumbed to the same issue. So it is also preparing. So as you guys can see, all three VMs, you'll see the th um, thumbnails here at the bottom. So Norton, Surfshark and McAfee. They have all succumbed to the same issue. So unfortunately, one of the malwares definitely did some damage to the systems. Um, either maybe the boot partitions or certain files were deleted or corrupted. Or maybe some of them did inject or install some, some form of drivers. And the drivers are um, corrupting the system and not being um, able to boot. I don't know. You have to physically sit down and diagnose and troubleshoot this problem, but unfortunately I'm not going to do that. So yeah, this is one of my shortest tests, I would say. So as you guys can see, all three, Norton, and then um, Surfshark, and then obviously McAfee. So yeah, so unfortunately I think this is the first time ever where I've tested two or three products and all the products failed. <laughs> So yeah, so that was quite interesting. Um, seems like some of the malware that I've tested have proven to be a bit too much for these three products and unfortunately they all three have failed. So first Shark, then McAfee, at least for Norton we can say it made it till the end and it was still functional up until the restart happened. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the test. Um, I'll be working on some some other tests. Um, I'll definitely test um, Surfshark um, more in the future um, because I've got a license for that. And yeah, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the test. Let me know what other tests you guys want me to do. Um, if I have forgotten about your test, just remind me. I have a list um, that I tend to go through, but I just I'll quickly scribble it down. So yeah, let me know if you've got any any other tests you want me to do any other mashups and yeah thanks again guys for watching all the new subscribers the old subscribers i do really appreciate every single one of you thanks for watching and liking the videos um and yeah let's get the videos out let's share them with people so that the guys can get more informative of which products are actually good and which ones you need to stay away from and yeah um, up until the next test guys i'll see you guys again and thanks again for watching